Hello there. I am teacher Shamila Nair from SK Pendidikan Has Jalan Bin Kuala Lumpur. My name in sign language is SL. Today we will be discussing English Paper 2 Section B. Today I will be guiding you to write simple speech based on the given points. Before we start, I have two reminders here. First, for those who are wearing hearing aid, please check on your aid if the battery is good and switch it on. And the second one, for Year 6 pupils, get your textbook ready with you and your SEE or ASL book. Now, I will be doing some finger exercise with you. Ready? First, make a fist. Wait for 10 seconds. Then you open. You can repeat for three times. The second one. Make an E shape. Hold for five seconds. Open. E, open. Repeat this for five times. Done. So now, shall we move on? Pupils, here are the objectives that I would like you all to achieve by end of this lesson. First, write simple sentences based on the given points. Second, write a paragraph based on the given points. Don't worry, I'm with you. Pupils, our speech today will be on the topic Stay safe from strangers. Wait, who are strangers? Mm, you please think. Okay, you got it right. Strangers are people around you that you are not familiar. You don't know them. They may be not from your area too. Always remember, pupils, you must stay away from them. They may be dangerous for you. And how do you sign strangers? How do you sign them? First, strange, S-T-R-A-N-G-E, strange, all right? E-R is this, E-R people, this, and add 
S. So, the sign is strangers. Yes, correct. Very good. Before discussing our topic for today, I would like to explain to you about speech. What is speech? Wait, I will tell you. Speech is a formal talk that a person gives to audience. Who is audience? People who listen to you. For example, in your school functions, from your headmaster or teachers, you have heard them before, right? I am sure you have. Here is an example of speech for you to just see. I believe you would have seen this. Am I right? Yes, I am. You would have seen this in your books previously. Dear pupils, I would like to share with you about the steps to write in section B. There are three steps. Remember three. First one, read instructions and look for the content. Second, expand your idea. Third, start writing. Easy. Remember three steps. All right. Now is the first step in writing a speech. You must read the instructions or the given question first. All right, read and Look for the content. Have read it? So now look at some of the questions here. Have a look. It will be mentioned that you are needed to write a speech. You saw that? A speech. Then, once you have spotted the word speech, S-P-E-E-C-H, speech, you have spotted, you must start to do what? Yes, look fine for the content. This means you have to know 
an idea. What story? Or what you are going to write about? You must start thinking. Before that, let's see some example questions. Example question one. I have highlighted what you need to write. You have to write about the importance of science. All right. Example question two. Again, I have highlighted the content. You have to write about teachers. Now, example question three. Aha! Now, you try to tell me the content. I will wait. Yes, the content is about the teacher's farewell. You are with me, right? Good. So, here is our question for today. And now, let's do this together. From the question, what is the content you need to write in your speech? Found it? Yes, this is the content. You must write your speech about how to stay safe from strangers. To write a good content, we need to read a lot. Again, I'm telling, remember pupils, read a lot. Aha, wait. Did you all notice something in the question? There it is mentioned that you must use the notes given. Must use. So, don't neglect it. Remember to include the given points. So, now, the second step. Good thing is we already have notes to be used. So, we don't have to think about the idea. We just need to use the points given and write the speech. Easy! Let's look at the points given. There are three points given. Pupils, remember, try not to rewrite the whole thing again. It means copy. Copy. No. Why? Because this can reduce your marks. How to gain marks then? You should rephrase them. Rephrase. What is it? It is about writing the whole points given, but in your own words. But remember, don't give the wrong idea. So, let's do this now. 
The first point says, do not go with strangers. They may try to abduct you by saying they are lost or by pretending they need your help. So, we shall rephrase it like this. Avoid going with outsiders, strangers. They may attempt to kidnap you. Pupils, see, I have emitted some words and made it short. This is a way to rephrase, which is called deleting. I hope you have written this in your book. Now, we are on the second point. The point says, always tell your parents where and whom you are going out with. This is important because they can help you during an emergency. Again, we shall rephrase it like this. Make sure you inform your parents where and with whom you are going out. This is important to find you during an emergency. Now, here is the third point. But pupils, for this point, there are no elaborated one. It's just main points. So how? So, we have to add more words to make it a good sentence. Let's see how we can make the sentence. For this sentence, we don't need to add any words to begin. Why? Because we must not forget that we should not exceed the words limit, which is 50 to 80 words. For this sentence, we must tell whose parents we are talking about. So, it will be for your parents' insight. We can just add the word the, the H-E, the, to continue the sentence because we are talking about a place here. It becomes inside the school compound. Then we can add the word only, O-N-L-Y, only, to end the sentence. And now the sentence will be like this. Wait for your parents inside the school compound only. With this, we have now completed making sentences for our content. So pupils, I know that was a long one, but we are 
halfway. Let's get it done. Because it's time to get into the writing according to the format. Alright, here is the format. We have four parts in our speech. The first part is greeting the audience. We can use various greetings such as good morning to the headmaster, teachers and fellow friends. Remember pupils, if in the question it is mentioned about any competition, then you must add Honourable Judges. Remember, Judges. Look at this question and see the word competition there. So, this is how you have to write your greetings. Good morning, Honourable Judges, Headmaster, Teachers and Fellow Friends. We shall add the word Honourable Judges only for competition. Remember. Now, the second part. Introduce yourself and the topic. You can write like this. My name is Shamila from 6 Perdana. The topic for my speech today is how to stay safe from strangers. Another example is I am Shamila from Six Perdana would like to talk about how to stay safe from strangers. Here, we are using the word how, but we don't need to add the question mark at the end of the sentence because you are not asking a question, but you are going to talk about it. Now, we are moving to the part to write the content. Remember the points we discussed earlier? Yes, we are going to use that. Pupils, I would like to tell you that for speech, we can add the words first, you must, second, you can or you shall. You can choose. If we are using the word you, must only use the word you for the whole speech. Don't mix your writing with you and we. Alright? Stay with me. Now, we can do the writing for the content. Take the first paragraph. You can add the word you must. So, 
This is how it will be. Look at this. For the second point, I don't want to add word. I will start with the word always. A L W A Y S. Always. And this is the sentence. Look at this. The last point. We are not adding any words. And the sentence will be like this. You all are good. So we are done with the content. And now it is the closure, which is thanking the audience. Remember to write it short and simple. This is my closure. Remember to stay safe from strangers. Thank you. And here is the speech you will get. So pupils, we are done for the day. I hope today's lesson helped you to write the speech. Please do read a lot so that you will have more vocabularies or words to write your speech and expand your idea. If you don't have enough vocabularies or you have no idea, then it will be hard for you. So, I believe you will follow my advice, follow the guide, and you can do it. That's all for today. Till then, see you and stay safe. Bye.